Hello, my name is Fatih Abazerbachi. I'm currently a gastroenterology fellow at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm one of the authors of the recent study published in Gastrointestinal Endoscopy titled Metal Stents versus Plastic Stents for the Management of Pancreatic Wall Duff Necrosis, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. I am delighted to have the opportunity to discuss with you briefly our meta-analysis and talk for a moment about the background, results, and implications of our study. Acute pancreatitis is the third most common GI-related hospital discharge diagnosis, and almost 20% of these cases are complicated by the development of necrosis, commonly referred to as WAN in the literature. Endoscopic necrosectomy is now widely performed as a primary treatment for pancreatic necrosis. However, there are currently no standardized techniques for accessing and debriding pancreatic fluid collections, such as pseudocysts or pancreatic wall duff necrosis. Traditionally, cyst enterostomies between pancreatic fluid collections and the stomach or bowel were accessed by plastic stents, although now metal stents, most commonly lumen-opposing metal stents, are frequently used. From a technique standpoint, and although they are more expensive, the application of metal stents is more convenient compared with plastic stents. Previous studies have not fully assessed the comparative benefits of these two categories due to relatively small size, lack of comparative arms, and conflicting findings. We have therefore aimed to compare the efficacy of plastic and metal stents for draining pancreatic wall duff necroses and examine the differences in collection resolution, the likelihood of resolution after a single intervention session, and rates of clinically important adverse events. Our hope was to provide evidence-based recommendations for WAN management and informed practice. Towards this end, we performed a systematic review of the literature with the aid of an experienced librarian. 41 studies were included in the final analysis, 10 of which were comparative, examining both categories, while 31 studies consisted of single arms, either plastic stents in 16 studies or metal stents in 15 studies. We performed two types of meta-analyses. The first was to examine primary outcomes. These included overall one resolution, resolution after a single endoscopic procedure, and total number of endoscopic sessions to achieve resolution when more than one procedures were needed. For these outcomes, we restricted our analysis to comparative studies in order to decrease the heterogeneity and better understand how these two categories of stents influence a major endpoints in any intervention. We found that metal stents achieved resolution in 92% of the cases compared with 81% when using plastic stents. No difference was found in achieving resolution following a single endoscopic procedure between these stents. However, and importantly, in those cases that required performing more than one procedure, metal stents were superior in achieving resolution with fewer sessions, saving one procedure on average compared with plastic stents. Next, we performed a second meta-analysis restricted to single arm studies to examine the adverse events profile of each stent category. We found that bleeding occurred in 13% of cases using plastic stents compared to 6% in metal stents. Furthermore, there were trends towards higher perforation and higher rates of stent occlusion, albeit less migration events in plastic stents compared with metal stents. Our study's limitations were mainly related to the large heterogeneity, especially in one-arm studies. This may be related to the misclassification of pseudocysts as one in these studies. Indeed, we observed less heterogeneity in comparative studies with more robust resolution outcomes findings. Furthermore, we did not conduct a cost-effectiveness analysis considering the lack of substantive information in extracted studies. However, it seems likely that despite the relatively higher cost, the fact that metal stents may decrease the needed numbers of interventions to achieve resolution, in addition to their superior success profile, as well as potentially lower adverse events profile, will render them the primary tool applied in these interventions in the future. In conclusion, based on meta-analyses, 
it appears that metal stents are superior in achieving walled off pancreatic necrosis resolution with fewer bleeding events, trend toward less occlusion and perforation rates, but increased migration rate compared with plastic stents. On behalf of all of my co-authors, I would like to thank gastrointestinal endoscopy for this gracious invitation and thank the esteemed audience for the review and attention. Thank you. <laughs>